learning how to love and do it is my highest purpose in life. Hello lovely people, uh, I'm Michał Kali Griggs, uh, for those uh, who don't know me, uh, I'm from Tantra Movement. Uh, today I will speak uh, about a few things, uh, so first uh, I will talk about uh, uh, three directions of love. Uh, uh, love yourself, uh, love to your partner and uh, love uh, to others, to all. It's uh, very important that these uh, three directions are aligned, uh, that they go into one direction, uh, that uh, love uh, to yourself, it supports uh, the universal love, uh, so love to the universe, love to uh, animals, nature, to your neighbors, to your family, to it all. There is uh, the middle direction, uh, love to your partner, uh, uh, romantic love. Uh, so if those three are aligned in the same direction, then they are empower each other, they support each other. And I will explain you how it all works. So uh, first direction is uh, love to yourself. Uh, so this is uh, very basic. Uh, as much you can love yourself, then uh, more you can love uh, uh, your partner, that more you can um, uh, love uh, the others. As more you are connected uh, to yourself, uh, uh, the more you connect uh, to your partner, to your family, to your uh, friends, to neighbors, to the nature and animals. It goes both directions, uh, always. As more you loving uh, and connecting to animals, nature, it supports you back. The more you can love yourself. Uh, uh, if you do good things for the others, uh, then uh, the good things would come to you. So it's a karma, but it's uh, like just directions of love. Uh, what it has to circulate, not get stagnated uh, within yourself uh, because uh, then you go to the narcissistic love, uh, to the selfish love and then uh, you just do uh, everything for yourself uh, but against uh, your partner, against uh, uh, your uh, everyone and uh, that's a bit selfish love and on the longer term uh, you may realize uh, that you're still not happy because uh, uh, the love uh, what you uh, love yourself it's stagnating it's uh, not supported by universe it doesn't circulate with the nature so that's why it's important to let it flow to love it all uh, to not uh, just to limit to yourself uh, or even uh, just to limit to your partner uh, we have to grow expand with love uh, and of course uh, Yes, everything within your own limits. So always loving yourself. Uh, always ask yourself these questions. Do uh, the love what uh, I give to myself? Uh, it's uh, supporting also my partner. It supports living on that planet uh, or it's against. Uh, uh, and try to always find the solutions to align with this. So uh, yes, love to yourself is uh, uh, very basic. You have to love yourself, you have to love your body. You have to, uh, uh, like, yes, the heart center, uh, the uh, loving chakra, anahata, it's uh, about uh, love uh, and connection. Love and connection within yourself, but then with your partner, and then uh, with it all. We recognize in Tantra three temples, uh, what are, um, the body, the heart, mind and spirit. And uh, the connection has to start always within yourself. Always when you start uh, any changes, it's easier to work on yourself. As hard it is sometimes, but it's easy. The most influencing person uh, and more influential person who you can find, it's you, because that's your domain. With the others, um, you are uh, um, not dependent so much. Uh, you can offer uh, uh, by inspiration, that's the best. But if you uh, like changing the world uh, without changing yourself, it's not gonna work very well. If you want to change the world, you change yourself. So, uh, yes, you will be great for love. First, start to learn how to love yourself. Stay, uh, you want to create more connection in the world? 
more oneness, then uh, first learn how to create oneness within yourself. You have the chakras, but you have also like the temples that simplify uh, uh, version of the chakras. As in yoga and uh, uh, tantra, uh, in the chakra uh, understanding, they are all aligned, they are all equal. There is no one more important or better. Of course, we ha can have on our journey personalized one uh, to uh, connect better with one, uh, but it's just another aspect of our life, what are we connecting at that moment. And maybe it's very good to connect with that aspect, uh, but then, uh, uh, yes, we have to grow into the next one and next one, and it's all about connecting them uh, within themselves and uh, aligning the, them in these three directions that uh, yes whatever decision you make you make it out of love the body uh, heart uh, mind and spirit those three temples they are connected they work in the harmony in the inner friendship they have inner dialogue about the differences what they have because uh, yes there are three different parts of you the body is about sexuality, about the health, uh, about your uh, well-being in uh, this beautiful body. The heart is about the love to yourself, to your partner, the love to the others, but also connecting with yourself, connecting with your partners, connecting with the others. Yes, so it's about love and connection. And then mind and spirit, it's about uh, your creation, your intellect, uh, your thinking, uh, and uh, of course, uh, when it's connected with here and now, when it's healthy mind, it's connected with the spirit, so with your morals, with your ethics, with uh, your uh, connection with the universal truth and so on. It's great that uh, you find the connection, you work all the time on the connection, that there is inner dialogue between these three temples, because the, uh, sometimes body maybe wants something else. The heart may want something else and the mind and spirit maybe also want something else. But if they, in inner dialogue, the best, can create the best solution, what goes in one direction and what not tears you apart, there is no inner fight, not inner dominance that one part of you dominate another part, but there is inner friendship, inner harmony, and it grows, it strengthens with every uh, healthy decision what it's made by connection within you. That creates like love within you, so love to your body, your beautiful body, accepting your body, it's very important. When you uh, accept your beauty, it would be easy for you to accept the, the beauty of your partner uh, unconditionally. Uh, and it's not only about the body, but also about their heart temple, their mind and spirit temple. So, so the connection uh, with, uh, between two uh, beautiful people can be uh, uh, stronger when we recognize each other on each level, not on just uh, maybe sexual level, or not maybe only on the heart loving level, relationship level or uh, uh, maybe not only intellectual uh, spiritual level maybe no like so so but we connect uh, uh, as more we connect on these three levels then our relationship is much stronger and that's what tantra also guides us into connection with yourself loving yourself uh, that's very important uh, when everything flows uh, uh, you work on yourself and uh, everything uh, flows uh, good uh, uh, in, uh, within you, uh, everything what uh, uh, is within you, it reflects to parts of your mirror, your partner. Conscious relationship, it's about actually growing together, reflecting each other, triggering each other wounds in order to uh, heal them while you uh, are in this uh, secure, trusting uh, environment that you know that your partner understands the process and it's not uh, triggered by your emotions, but uh, giving them space to be released finally and not be suppressed, but be released and recognize, okay, it's not only about me, uh, it's not only about her, it's not uh, only about the past, present and the future, it's all about all aspects of it and connection of it together and actually process going on that maybe uh, she was hurt by some men in the past or maybe in previous lives uh, of course uh, maybe she was born uh, on a 
uh, in the fire uh, for her freedom. The suppressed uh, by generations anger uh, what uh, she released because uh, she feel uh, finally safe in the trusted container with you uh, and she released, we have to recognize, okay, it's not only about me. It, it, she's released, think it, because she feels safe with me and connected with me that finally she can express this suppressed by generations anger and uh, yes, uh, it's sometimes directed by you, by small things, what you are triggering uh, this anger uh, because you are a man and you behave also with your condition as a man and so But you have to realize, I didn't do those things, what she, uh, her anger, suppressed anger is releasing. So you just hold the space, as a Shiva, hold the space. Tantra is about learning uh, about relationships, how uh, you can uh, love better. So uh, yes, all those tips and tricks uh, what we give you, it's all about strengthening your relationship. Conscious relationship is about going as deep as possible. So as longer you connect it, uh, as long it lasts, it goes deep, but only it goes deep when you are conscious about your process and you uh, use the relationship as a catapult, like Tantra, it strengthening your, uh, is speeding up all your process of your growth because two and two, uh, one and one uh, in Tantra, it's not just two, it's multiplied. It's uh, when you use both of those energies, it just explodes, you know, like it's uh, uh, as you are within yourself, your inner father, inner mother, inner child, uh, uh, inner feminine, inner masculine. So these all aspects of you are meeting with all aspects of your partner and they together like when they're in harmony and they uh, in the conscious relationship if you are conscious about the process they just you know multiply uh, the uh, effects of their being that's why especially with tantra with uh, using of sublimation energy using your sacred sexuality uh, you uh, uh, amplify all the process of your growth because uh, with the sacred sexuality, with tantric love making, you uh, nourish all the time your chakras with the most powerful energy, what is sacred sexuality, what creates life. Uh, you transform it into the heart and then uh, you are more loving, more uh, connected with yourself and your partner and it all expands to all. You may feel oneness with uh, all universe and then you want to just serve universe. Help uh, everyone uh, to grow because you know if you uplift your brother, sister, then you are uplifting yourself. And the most powerful catapult is being in conscious relationship, using the sacred sexuality that you can nourish all your chakras. And then, you know, like when your chakras are nourished, they become ready uh, for facing the process, facing the unbalanced block things in you on all aspects on all chakras and then giving you preparing you and giving you by mirroring in the relationship the opportunities to grow with it yes as longer it goes then as deeper uh, it goes so that's why in conscious re relationships uh, it's uh, good to have long lasting relationship as much as it works as you grow together as you uh, keep this harmony together. It's not about like the relationship where by society two people uh, are forced to be together. They are unhappy, they are stagnated, they love long time died, and but they stay together because uh, that's the religious uh, norms and the society pressure, yeah, make them uh, stay together and so. But it's about conscious relationship. You choose to be together every day and you choose to grow together and you feel that you're growing, you are not stagnated. You go through the processes, sometimes it's very hard to face the suppressed fear, suppressed emotions, things, what happened to you in the past, what sometimes your mind blocked to keep you safe. The power of love in this relationship, it's just every time it's getting stronger and stronger and that also helps you that you want to stay, you want to face, you want to go through the most difficult things, you want to bite your ego uh, to make it as a healthy ego, to grow with it, that uh, you 
out of love to your partner, you uh, are able to change, change in, in the most clinging difficulties what sometimes you cling into. So you let go attachment because you love the other person for the other person and for yourself in the end, because it also grows. As this uh, power of love, power of uh, sacred sexuality especially, uh, what nourish all our chakras, what strengthen the connection in the couples, it expands further. Uh, through the tantric lovemaking you can experience, for example, the so-called uh, cosmic universal orgasm, that uh, you don't feel only within your body, all your cells, uh, all your body, all your organs, you connect it completely, you feel oneness within yourself, but it goes much further. You may feel the oneness within your relationship, that her touch, it's like your touch, that you feel what she feels, that you are in this sacred, beautiful union, and that's, that's amazing. But then you uh, go even further into uh, the state, what uh, in some teachings it's called Nirvana, uh, in some Samadhi, that there is no separation, that you feel one with nature, you feel one with everything. There is no separation. You are the universe. You are part of the universe. And you are humanity. You are everything. Everything what exists. You are this uh, piece of sand, but you are the nature, you are the ocean, you are the drop of the water, but you are the ocean and things like that. You feel that the Mother Earth is breathing so on. You are connected on all levels. There is no separation. If you are blessed to experience this orgasm or this state, and maybe in other ways, one time you know this beautiful slogan, what some teachings are uh, guiding us into, some religions are sharing it as a beautiful belief that we are all one, you transform into reality, into your real experience. You experience it. And when you experience it, you are not believer anymore. There is no doubt. When you believe in something, there is always a little bit of doubt. Uh, your faith uh, can be so strong, may move the mountains, but if you know something, it's your experience. You know there is no doubt. And so, so yes, then you can really move the mountains. Then you can change the world. Thank you very much for your attention.